Hi guys, I am Daniel and today I'm going to help you how to elevate your selfies or self-portraits and animate them like this one. Maybe you want to recreate something similar for your wedding or birthday or just use the technique however you like. I found Chris's video on TikTok and I thought it is a fun way to experiment at home. So let's cut into the chase. This video will have three parts. I will show you how to make the photo shoot, how to edit the images in Photoshop and how to animate them in After Effects or you can use Premiere Pro instead. All the segments are timestamped, so go to the description if you want to jump to a part that you want to see. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. This is my bedroom, where the magic will happen. I will be using my Canon AOS A100D. It also has a flip screen, so I could see myself. You might think this dude is so lame for taking pictures of himself. Maybe I am, but I am interested in photography and I was so inspired by Sorel Amore's series about her selfies and I also love Tipu Hapoya's videos and photos. I wish I could reach their level at some point and because I'm traveling alone most of the time, I needed to figure out a way how to take pictures of myself. So after the camera is set up, I usually check the lights and make changes if I need to. But because I'm making selfies and I do not want to run to the camera every time to push the button, I will be using Canon Camera Connect app on my phone. With the app, you can remotely control the camera settings, the focus and see yourself in real time. You can't see it because this peak is out of focus, but you can also browse the images on your camera and download them straight away to your phone, which I think is amazing. So I want to animate everything separately, to give every element some movement. So instead of creating a background full of balloons, I will use my grey wall as a backdrop. The theme will be black, gold and white. Really fancy. I only bought a few balloons and blew them up and created individual shots of them in different angles and then we will piece them together in Photoshop. I didn't find gold balloons, so I will be using orange and we will change the color. Ok, we are halfway there, it's time to get a drink. Cheers! As I said, I wanted to make this photo elegant. Hello, it's for New Year's Eve and I have been wearing sweatpants all year round. I had this suit but I couldn't wear it because I was working from home and every event was cancelled last year. The labels are still on. Thank you, Corona. Now let's the photo shoot begin. I got my prop, the open champagne bottle and took some photos. And I also separately shot the corkscrew. You have all your images. I transferred all of them into my drive and organized them into folders, like balloons, numbers and selfies. Then I select the best ones. I prefer the built-in Mac image viewer and then transfer the best ones into a dedicated folder. This is how I work, I like to be organized, but you do you. Oh my god, I took 578 selfies. I have a problem. Okay, this is the one I choose. Open the image in Photoshop and then select and crop the background and create a different layer of yourself. Now create some folders. Uh, I will need seven in total. One for the background, one for the balloons in the background, one for the numbers, one for the balloons in front of the numbers, one for me, one for the core screw and one for the balloons in the front. Okay, now I'm going to show how to change the color of the balloons. Here is this orange one. Select and select the empty area around the balloon, then click Select, Inverse, and then New Folder and also add a vector mask. 
This way you can easily add any color or texture to the balloon and you do not have to worry about the edges. I'm going to use this textured background as the overlay of the balloon. So I will add it into that folder and resize it. As you can see, it completely fills the balloon, but you also lost the texture. Now click here and also select Overlay. To make sure uh, that the original color doesn't affect of uh, this overlay, I will click Image, Adjustments and Decentralize. This will turn the balloon uh, black and white. See? Now you have a gold balloon. Now click Layer, Merge Visible and duplicate it to your main file. Crop all the balloons the same way. It will take some time and patience, but it will be worth it. If you are done, you have to arrange these balloons in an order you want them to be and also put them into the folders that we have created. Now you have to add the splash of the champagne. Okay, so select the um, bottom half of the bottle to make sure it seems like it will come out of the bottle and then between the two create a new layer and then select this brush tool and here on the top you will see the brushes you can also download these splash brush sets online if you need them so uh, let's place it Oh fuck, I just realized that I was saying corkscrew instead of cork. Mm, sorry. Corkscrew is actually the opener and cork is the thing in the bottle. Here is your final image. Now you have to uh, export each and every folder as a transparent uh, PNG file, export, save for web, this is what I usually use, PNG, save, and I usually name them uh, adding a number, so this will be one As you can see, we have all of these layers here. Here comes the fun part. We will animate the photo. Create a new composition. The width should be 2200 and the height should be 2800. I know it is a bit large, but later I can resize it however I want. Now import all of the files and then add them to the composition. The background should be on the bottom. After Effects give you an easy way to navigate in three dimension. For that, you need to organize these layers in this virtual space. Click on this 3D box in each and every layer and then click here to view horizontal. Now you see not just the front view, which is called Active Camera, but you can also see the top view on the left. Let me hide all of the layers so you have a better understanding how it works. So this is my background layer. Now I click on this blue arrow, which is called Z, Z axis, uh, which is the depth, how uh, far it is from the camera and you start moving it to the top. 
do this for every layer, uh, you and the cork should remain the same and the balloons in the front should be closer to the camera. Now you have to scale up these images. This is basically physics. The things that are far away seem smaller. So uh, I will select the background layer, hit the S button, and here you will see three numbers. You, if you move it, it will resize the image. Now click on Layer, New and Add Camera. I will select the 28mm camera and also make sure that you check in this Enable Depth of Field. Now you have this triangle, which is actually the camera, what the camera can see. In the top corner you will find this camera icon, click on it, and if you press the C button, you will have different options. Let me show you what are those. If you press it once, you can rotate the camera around the things that you have created in the 3D space. Uh, click here and then select the custom view. And if you rotate, you will see the layers that we have created. So cool. If you click twice, then you can add movement uh, from left to right or right to left. And if you click three times, then you will move in the Z axis, which is actually moving back and forth. Let me show you. Great, this is what we are going to need. Now we have to do the movement that we want to make. I want to zoom in uh, to myself. Click on camera, then transform, and create keyframes for point of interest and also position. Move this thing where you want to end the video and also create keyframes. Click on the bottom of the picture and then move as you want to. Great. Now go to the front, click on the top of the um, picture and come a little bit. The only issue is that my face is halfway cropped. Go to the end of the screen and then click on your um, layer and also select transform and select position. And go to the front and also key create your keyframe. If you go to the end of the video, you will see these three numbers. The first one is the picture position, left and right. The second one is the top and also the uh, bottom arrangement. And the third one is where you can move it uh, back and forth. Okay. Um, I'll undo all of the changes because the only thing that I want to move is I want to make sure it comes down like this. Now, if you check the video, it will zoom in on me. You can change the position for every layer just like this. 
So for example, you can move the cork up or you can make the balloons fall down as you move closer to the subject. I am happy, now I need to export file, export render queue and click on render. It will take some time, but when the video is done, you can import it into Premiere Pro and make some changes. For example, for me, it is much more easier to create different size versions there. Congratulations! I am so proud of you and you should be proud of yourself. If you found any part of this video useful, hit the like button. If you, wanna, if you have questions, shoot me in the comments below. If you want to see more tutorials like this or interested in my travel guide series, subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, basically any social media channel there is. And if you're already here, watch my other videos. Oh, 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 oh.